Hi, I'm Richard Rose, the Artistic Director of the Tarragon Theatre. The question I asked our playwrights, what in our current times inspired you to write a playlet about the future, about the world a year from now? I was inspired by fear, the fear that I was feeling, the fear that I was seeing out on the streets of Winnipeg, uh, the fear that I was observing and reading about nationally and internationally. Um, I thought that it would be interesting for audiences to see how actors and artists deal with fear. And so my playlet is about a brief moment for theater artists and how they overcome their fear. I was inspired in thinking about the future and part of the, the exercise was to write about a hopeful future. Um, just the idea of being stuck with someone in isolation during the pandemic with whom you are having serious issues and that part of the being in that pressure cooker that there could be the possibility for positive change because I've definitely noticed a huge amount of love just pouring out of the people in my community, just even if they're making each other masks or dropping off food or reaching out to each other and really letting go of the things that don't matter and committing more to the things that do. And at the same time, as it's gotten quieter outside, less cars, less busyness, you can really hear the birds. And uh, I find that so beautiful. Um, I'm really in, I find birders so interesting. I'm not a birder, but I think it might be a direction I'm gonna head in. Um, because the ability to be still and notice something outside of yourself, that's beautiful. Um, I think that we've been afforded that and I noticed outside my kitchen window just the other week the most beautiful bird. And I don't know what it was. Um, and, and a lot of that inspired me to think about writing this little playlet and also looking out instead of being so self-involved, self-reflective all the time, which is something that our society asks, this consumerist getting for me society asks us for all the time, just to take this moment to be still and look out. And I think that's something that a lot of people are doing and I hope that it carries forward into our relationships with each other, with the planet, um, as, we, as we move into the future. So that was my inspiration. The different simple stories of kindness that I'm hearing or reading on social media all around me, or stories of my family still in Hong Kong and how everyone's banding to together to take care of my grandma or uh, my uncle sending us masks from Hong Kong to Canada. So those little gestures of kindness and things that my partner does for me, what I do for my partner, um, and in the news, especially towards uh, solidarity and allyship with Asian Americans and Asian Canadians. Mm -hmm.